from? How you doing, Aki? Who this is and where you calling from? Uh, Chris from Vegas. Oh, man, you, you, you from Vegas, man, from where all the drama is going on right now. So you might you, you mm. might have some insight on a thing or two, so talk to me. Well, don't you think it's weird that Haney, even though he's known the Mayweathers for so long, he signed with Eddie Hearn instead of the Mayweather promotion? Yeah, I, th- I think I think Mayweather is pimping the game. Um, we talked about it earlier. I think, um, like my man brought it up earlier, which was I was actually about to bring up the same point, which was um, I think Floyd Mayweather told uh, Devin Haney, "Hey, listen, man, go make your money, come back, come back, see me when you on the top five pound for pound, and then I'm gonna give you that bag with Showtime." That's what I think he told him, and he went and robbed his own with whatever contract he got with a, for a lot of money. Uh, he obviously got a couple meals, and he fighting every time uh, for a meal or two. And he he ain't even fought a big fight yet. So imagine when he get there, the zone gonna give him the bag. So um, I think Mayweather looking at it, being calculated, thinking, hey, uh, you know what? I'm gonna sign Devin Haney once he's already a superstar instead of me making him a superstar. I'm gonna take him from being a superstar to a Mayweather star. Yeah, that makes sense. You think you think Floyd will be as good as his uncle at training? I think uh, with you know Roger Mayweather, may he rest in peace. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Senior, one of the best trainers as well. Um, Jeff Mayweather, also one of the best. But I think Mayweather could surpass all of them because uh, Mayweather, if he dedicate himself to training, you gotta realize, you know. With all the knowledge he has, he could give so many tips and and so many uh, advices because he's seen it all at the elite level. I mean, he could inform you on so much that it's going to be second nature to you once you see it. You're going to feel like you've already been there. Uh, So I think Mayweather could surpass all of them because, you know, how you not going to be able to be the best trainer in the world when you was one of the best fighters, when you was arguably TBE? The best ever. So um, I don't see why he can't be a great trainer because I, I see the advices he gives Devin Haney only on a couple clips. And they were great advices, you know. And like I said, he mastered the shoulder roll. So he could give you the small hints. Because I remember when Mayweather fought, for example, Canelo Alvarez, he does so much little stuff that people don't peep. Even against Berto, he said he beat him with his E game. Not not even his D game, his E game. You know, Mayweather will throw a right hand and he will catch your, you know, your counter before you even throw the counter because he already got you calculated. From the first bell, that's how crazy and how talented Mayweather is. So, of course, he's going to be a great trainer, especially when he has a fighter that ha- that's trying to emulate his style. It's it's easy to teach him what Mayweather was doing. So Mayweather could easily give him a tip or two on how he became TB. Yeah, I mean, he mastered the sport. He's a promoter, a fighter, now a trainer. He's got everything down, you know. And the Mayweather gym, shit, they, they, they don't put up a... a yeah. Uh, I made with a gym in my town. I'm like, what, what is that? You know what I mean? Yeah, I might always, need to open a franchise. Packed. Always <laughs> packed. Always packed. Yeah, man. Like I said, he's doing big things. And for the people that are claiming he broke, that's why I'm like, man, why are you... Man, people nah, stay, he's steady not broke. hating he's because far it's like, from broke. what are y'all talking about? Talking about the man broke when he haven't even ca- cashed his $100 million check that he made from his last fight. And you got to keep in mind, all these gyms from... Like, they even got one in my hometown right now. And, I mean, where I'm from, mm-hmm. where, where I'm living right now. And um, there's so right. many Mayweather gyms, so many hotels that he owns, properties, um, and so many investments. Like I said, the man got a million-dollar voice, so he can't go broke. But we all know what time it is. Obviously, yeah, he's, he's, he's got a building in Times Square, you know. See, well, for real? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's dope. I didn't even know that. See, man, like I said, man. He, he wealthy, rich. He generational rich. You know what I mean? The man ain't going broke no time yeah. soon. Like I said, you know what I mean? He His kids, kids, kids are going to be A-OK. But, um, you know, any last question, Aki? Yeah, what do you think is going to happen with his daughter? Oh, man. Like I said, I ain't even really wanted to talk about the news because, I mean, I got a, um, you know, a daughter coming, um, inshallah, in a month or two. Oh, congratulations. Uh, yeah, I'm blessed with having a daughter. So, um, so like I said, I don't even know how that pain felt for him. Because, you know, one thing, he could advise his kids, but he cannot teach them not to make some, to, to make mistakes. They're going to make mistakes, they kids, obviously. So, um, Well, he warned her about that rapper. 
Yeah, and he also warned her. Like I said, that's what I'm saying. He warned her, yeah. and she didn't listen. And 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 now he's trying to probably get her to learn the hard way because you know he like, man, I try my best, but like I said, obviously he's gonna be there for his daughter no matter what. That's his blood, but um, you know that that must be painful. Like I said, the the, the thing about Floyd is, you know, that's why me as a father now, I'm just speaking for myself. You know, for example, um, you know. I try to be a living example because I know my kids going to look up to me. See, uh, the daughter, the father is her first love. The son, the father is his uh, first hero, right? So when, when you have a daughter or a son, it don't matter. They look up to you automatically. So whatever you do, they're going to want to be just like you. So your son going to want to be just like you when he grows up. Your daughter going to want to find somebody just like you. You know what I'm saying? So Mayweather, from an early age, he was obviously, you know, a player player, this and that. And, and he matured. Now you look at him, he's a completely different person today. If you speak to him, and like that, people change for the good or the bad. Mayweather changed for the good. So I try to be a living example from day one because I don't want my son or my daughter to make mistakes because I made them and they thinking it's cool. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like I said, I, I try to be a living example. And like I said, I know I'm pretty sure it's painful for Floyd Mayweather to see, uh, you know, because he, he dealt through a lot from Raja Mayweather passing away to Kobe, one of his best friends, passing away. May they rest in peace. And now his daughter getting to... Um, you know, uh, an issue with NBA young boy and, and, and stabbing somebody. So, like I said, you know, hopefully they they resolve the issue. You know what I mean? Okay. Appreciate the time. Yeah, anytime, fam. Thank you for calling in. And like I said, bring up facts, not false information. And anybody can get it on some problem. AB. Even my own IP. Anybody you know what I'm saying? It ain't split. This is just going to be a Americans, knockout. Americans, so, like I said, Mexicans, they got me feeling like me with on split decision. It. Undefeated. 424 debates, 424 KO with facts. Iron Mike of Split Decision, the most fury, the young Aki, got all these decaf sh**. Subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute, if you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't. And listen to these decafs slash old media that don't know shit about boxing. Because like I said, you know, they will bring up their emotional opinion. But facts trump any opinion any given day of the week. And always remember that... When the truth is spoken, the other side is nothing but a lie. So all the decavs that's claiming, hey, why are you picking on the, the, the decavs that don't know ish about boxing? Admitting that they are decavs. Absolutely not. I'm calling out everybody. These decavs will say whatever, but they living up to their name. Dumb, casual ass fans. And like I said, on split decision, I don't go for no decision. I, I don't let the bell... Take me to a decision where the referee could rob me on some Canelo-ish. Y'all know how these ju judges do. Nah, only these decavs be the judge. I knock him out. Like the Iron Mike. So like I told y'all, on split decision, it's just one round KO. But sometimes I do like to take him further because I'm going to say this. On split decision, you get up to three strikes before I have to hang up. Because if you lie three times... Then I have to hang up. If you keep flip-flopping, I have to hang up because I keep knocking you out and every topic you bring up and you stay deflecting. Quit running. Quit ducking like Canelo and call in to split decision. You already know how the Lions do. Like I always say, man, appreciate everybody for calling in. Appreciate, appreciate everybody for tuning in. And um, subscribe below. Click on the notification bell. And tune in next Monday. Eid Mubarak. Wa kulli aamantum bakhair. Wa Ramadan kareem. And. Oh, hold on, hold on. You, know, you already know what I got to say. All the decaps. Why y'all always got to hate, man? Damn, I'm looking good. I bear witness. There's only one God. Allah.